Hey everyone, welcome to part four of my tutorial. Three style, yeah. So, um, I have good news for everyone who understood parts two and three. And that is that the hard part is basically over. Um, the rest of learning three style, if you have a good grasp of pure commutators and setup moves to pure commutators, is pretty easy. It's just a lot of work. Um, but you're not going to have to learn anything new. So basically this video is about teaching you how to take what you've learned and in the most efficient way possible apply it to um, actually blind solving. So so basically, so basically the first thing um, that you need to do, um, and it's the first thing that I did when I, after I learned commutators, is take a sticker, um, and I'm going to go ahead and recommend RFD, and you're going to take that sticker and you're going to figure out one three cycle, three cycle for every for every combination of cycle, with, uh, every combination of stickers with RFD and another sticker. Um, and so that involves all of these stickers and every sticker that's not on the buffer or RFD. There are 18 cycles, and that adds up to 36 if you count the inverses as well. Um, and so basically, it's not that difficult. You just set up a cycle using old Pachman, like for example, RFD to R RUF. And then you just go through the process of finding a three cycle for that cycle um, until, until you find one. So this is a case that can be solved with a pure commutator. So here we have an interchange, just a simple R prime, as you can see pretty easily. Um, and then our insertion, uh, in order to bring this yellow sticker um, to here, we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to make this interchangeable with that. And we try D prime, but that doesn't work because these two aren't interchangeable. But then if you do an F, these two are interchangeable and so on. So F L two F prime, R, uh, back to R, there you go. So that's just an example of how you might find your cycle. So there are three steps, I would say, to finding a cycle. The first step is to find, is to find your favorite solution to it. Um, and the second step is to find the best way to execute it. So this cycle, it's probably a bad idea to hold the cube like this and do F L two F prime. So pretty logical just to do an X rotation and do it as U L two U prime. And then the third thing you want to ask yourself is, can I apply, can I apply the same, the same concept to other cycles? And of course, in this case, the answer is yes, because you have one interchange group on the R face, and any cycle in that interchange group, not just the ones that include RFD, can be solved with an F L two F prime insertion. But now the thing is, you don't want to be too narrow minded because there's also the fact, which I didn't realize until a while after I'd been using F L two F prime for every cycle involving two stickers on the right face, that there's another insertion U prime L prime U, which inserts the buffer into there. So if you're talk, if you're doing the, if you're doing the RFD commutators, maybe maybe you'll only use the U prime L prime U insertion when you get to this one over here, but um, but uh, this one over here is also useful when you have have between these two or between these two, um, and so and you also can decide for yourself maybe if you get these two. You'll also want to use the U prime L prime U, but do an A9 instead. So like, like that. But um, I kind of switch between those two. So you just decide whatever is the fastest for you. So basically, you go through and you find a commutator for each one of these and make it as finger trick friendly as possible. A good goal is to try to be able to execute each one in, in two and a half seconds or less, um, just to begin with. And so basically, since you're making these commutators yourself, you're going to know them pretty well because you made them up. And what happens is then once you know your 18 RFD commutators, you start using them in solves and suddenly you're using maybe one commutator a solve. 
And also, if you specifically choose RFD whenever you break into a new cycle, you can even make it so that in many solves you're using more than one commutator. So, um, so then the next step is to choose um, RD, uh, FDR um, and find all the commutators for that. A lot of them are going to be the mirrors of RFD commutators. In fact, since since you have a mirror, since you have a a uh, line of symmetry down this axis between these two stickers and the buffer, you can choose to have every cycle with this sticker be a mirror. But that's not such a good idea because um, because you want to find the ones that work best for you and are the fastest. So, um, like for example, doing. Uh, for example, doing the when I have when I have these two uh, commutator between these two stickers, I don't use the mirror of u prime l prime u. I use the even though that's what I would use for the cycle between these two stickers. I oops, what am I doing here? I use instead the mirror of f l two f prime, which is r prime d two r. And so you'll notice that an insertion, most insertions can be used to solve many different cycles. Like as you can see either u prime l prime u or f l2 f prime can solve any of the cycles, any of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cycles between two stickers on the right face. Um, and so you're, you're going to end up with all your commutators for RFD and FDR, but you're also going to end up with a lot of extra commutators if you're smart about it. And so... And so then, you're finally, the last thing to do is to do DFR and to f make your commutators for that. And the nice thing about DFR is that every single sticker on the cube is interchangeable either with UBL or DFR. Like, for example, this sticker with these stickers with DFR, this sticker with UBL, and so on. And so that makes it very easy because you're always either going to be interchanging with the buffer or interchanging with DBR. And so the most, so what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with um, 36 times 3. Uh, that's probably going to be about, wow, this is embarrassing, um, 108. You're going to end up with 108 commutators, but really it's going to be 56, um, 56 times 2 because they're going to be inverses of each other. And it's really all going to be very intuitive because, because um, you've come up with all of them yourself, and that's it. So... Just drill your commutators for these three stickers, and then whenever they come up in a solve, use use them. And whenever you have to break into a new cycle, break into a new cycle with this piece. And suddenly now you're probably using definitely at least one commutator per solve. So, um, and so basically, the rest of building yourself to full three style only involves taking these commutators that you've used for these three pieces and expanding them to the rest of the cube. Remember when I said that like these like a cycle between these two these two stickers can be can is like an extra extra free cycle that you get um, from knowing this cycle. Basically, the rest of the cycles on the cube you can find to be extra cycles. And the nice thing is that even if you can't find even if you can't find an an extra cycle that is that has the same insertion or the same interchange as a cycle that involves RFD, um, FDR, or DFR, even if you can't find one, you can always set up to one of these three stickers. Given that every single every single one of the other six corners can just you can just bring it to DFR and then do a three cycle and bring it back. So basically you end up having a similar move count to old Pachman, having a setup move and then a preset cycle and then undo setup move, except you're solving, you're going to be solving two pieces instead of one at a time. And so that's what I did when I, the very first time I switched to three style. Um, and, but the thing is that that's not very good. That's actually not much better than turbo because you're, because you, you have to set up every time. But then the more experience you get, the more you find the nice little interchanges, like how, like how in the last video I showed how any any two stickers can be uh, in the D layer that are interchangeable, uh, or any four stickers, any combination of those four can be solved 
with the same kind of insertion, no matter what that insertion is. And so just ba all it is is the first step is, is make, your, make your cycles for these three pieces and then, and then start using them. And then from there, you can just build and build and build until suddenly you find there are like seven or eight different, there are like maybe 20 cycles left that you don't have a good algorithm for. And at that point, you just go look one up, look up a nice uh, intuitive one, or, or uh, try your hardest to figure one out. But you can make lots and lots of commutators stem from just the ones on these three stickers. Um, and the last little tip I'm gonna give, which I probably mentioned in some of the other videos, is just uh, when you have like DFR interchange with, with uh, one of these, one of the other four stickers, you can just, you can just bring UBL over here and insert with R2, U prime, R2, sorry, R, let me start over because I messed that up. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And that all, so that algorithm inserts, inserts um, UB, UFR into DFR. And the nice thing about it is that it's the same forwards and backwards. R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And the other algorithm that's important to know is just the version of that which swaps, um, which inserts DFR into, into D, I'm uh, sorry, yeah, DFR into UFR is just R prime F prime R2 FR. And so that is also the same forwards and backwards. And so that's very useful and you can use that to solve all of the cycles um, involving stickers just on opposite sides. Um, and I, I know when I started, I always used um, triple sexy move to solve that, but, but the five move insertion is a lot faster. Well, I'm uh, locking up because I'm looking at this through a camera. And so that's basically the transition into three cycle corners. There's really, it's really not as hard as a lot of people think. Once you, once you really have your, your 36 commutators down or 18 commutators down for each of these three pieces, um, you can just, you can just grow everything from there until you're solving every commutator on the cube. So the one downside to this method um, is that although it's very efficient, you're, you're going to end up in a situation where you have a lot of really not so great commutators. And I think that it's worth it to use this system um, because I used it to learn full BH corners in about, in about two months. Two months was all it took for me to be using a three cycle for every single cycle. But then I had a lot of cycles and I've been spending the months since then just just weeding out the really bad cycles. And I know I still have some bad ones because I've been kind of lazy, but, um, but really, but really it doesn't matter. Um, if you have some bad cycles, since you're actually able to use three cycle, three cycles, whereas before you couldn't. Um, so yeah, just, just, uh, play around with it. And I really recommend taking that first step of, of just making your 18 RFD commutators, learning them really well, drill them, do make sure you can do each one quickly, and then and then from there you'll be so surprised at how quickly your knowledge of BH grows. And my only other piece of advice is just don't be too narrow-minded. I know that forever, like for forever, I was just using for anything in this interchange group, I was just using um, Y prime, R prime, U two R. To insert like this sticker into there and I was using it for cycles like FDL DBR but the thing is that there's a much easier insertion to insert uh, to insert UBL into DBR which is just R prime UR and so I didn't find that for a while so I just recommend once you get to the point where you're using corner cycles for everything ask yourself is this the best insertion for this situation or is, is this just an insertion I'm using by extension but the thing is it's okay that if at first you're using everything by extension because, because that's honestly the most efficient way to learn. So um, I'm sorry if you're disappointed that, um, that you're going to have to do so much work on your own, but that's really what 3Style is. You know, you got to figure out, figure out everything for yourself. I've tried not to, in this video, give you too many, um, like just hand you too many algorithms, and that's because... That's because really every algorithm is better learned if you figure it out yourself. So happy hunting um, and 
comment on this video. Tell me what you think. Yeah, thanks for watching.